somebody walked up to the booth a minute ago and was like, I want to get his name on me. And he kind of like, and I was like, uh, I'm going to say no. You got any name tats on you? My first tattoo that I ever got was a name tat. Yeah? It was my mom's name. Oh, word. That yeah. one's okay. Oh, man, I've got a bunch of them, so I can't talk shit. But I've got so many chicks' names tattooed on me. It's f***ing bad, dude. Tried to cover up um, my ex-wife part initials. That didn't go so good. How about you got? I <laughs> uh, don't know now. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I have that same ex-wife over here. Um, I have an ex's name tattooed on me that I need to get covered. <laughs> Three on my hand. Really? Blackout. Oh, you I, beat me. I covered that up. Um, yeah. Two on my neck. <laughs> I don't have any yet. Yet. I will definitely get my mom's name tattooed around here because I'm Mama's boy. I can't Big remember. Black blob on my one? over here. Baby mama drama. I got my son's name word, and I have Lou Reed's name. That's awesome. Yeah. They're never oh, gonna let and, you down. And proud Mary, it says on my foot. I don't know if that's a real person or if it's just a song. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud and I'm kind of a Mary sometimes. I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? I work in a military town, so I have like 19 year old kids coming in all the time. Like, I wanna get my wife's name tattooed. I'm like, you're 19 with a wife? One, time out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Calm like, down. first of all, let's put it somewhere where we can cover it later. Don't have me do a name yeah. tattoo. I'll spell that shit wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm awful at f***ing spell. I'm practically illiterate. That's why I draw pictures for a living. Yeah. Name tattoo, two months later, you're single. Every f***ing time. I've had so many clients come back to me to get names that I put on them covered up after I told them to not get them. Oh, it's an investment for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely coming back to get that covered. My business's first year being open was 2017. And in 2017, I did probably like 20 something name tattoos because I usually say no to them. And, and the last year that just passed, I think I covered up more than half of them. This woman came into my shop, I swear to God, it was like 2001, some bullshit, and got her husband's name tattooed on her. And I did this six times. In different places, different tattoos, love this guy. Like, listen, when this goes south, sweetheart, and I adore you, she's a great client, I will cover them all up. But you're gonna pay for them, and I warned her every time. I tattooed her for like two, three years. She came in one time, I swear, I no joke. This mother had a whole other family. About an hour and a half away in Orlando. Different wife, different kids, different house. The, like the whole shit you see on TV. And I was like, no. She goes, you need to cover this mother name up now. I don't mind them if it's like your wife uh, or your kids, but I also think that it's like a future investment when they need it covered up. History has shown that it's a bad idea. I don't know why people still think that like, they'll be the one that gets away with it. Like, you're not gonna be the one that gets right. away with it. Four or five times a year, I'll have a kid <clears throat> who's like 19, 20. When you get my wife's name on me, I'm like, what the f ever, dude? Like, bad idea, but let's do it. And I'll tattoo it, and I swear to God, a year later, like, I'll actually place it and, and be like, all right, I know how I'm gonna cover this up in a year. And yeah. I swear to God, like, a year later, they'll come in, I'm like, well, don't do it, never do it. It's what I cover up the most. It just makes no sense. You don't need your name on you. Are you gonna forget it? Um, you don't need to brand yourself with someone else's name. It's just so not necessary. The only time it's ever worked out is on my grandpa, Bob Doty. Um, he had a tattoo on his arm that said Irene. Irene is my grandma. And I was like, that's the only time I've ever seen it work out. And I had been saying it for a while. And then finally my aunt was like, Kelly, you got, to, you got to stop telling people that. And I'm like, why? That's a completely reasonable anecdote. I'm charming. But she's like, yeah, but grandpa didn't get that tattoo for grandma. And I'm like, what? Hey. He was dating another Irene and he had gotten it for her and then they stopped dating. And I don't know what happened after if that just limited his dating choices. And he's like, Irene's only. <laughs> but he happened to marry and fall in love and have a family with a whole other Irene. And it just kind of worked out. So once again, my whole family has a history of do the wrong thing, Get reward. yield rewards. This is what I deal with constantly. <laughs> script ruins any good tattoo. 
It's just like they come in and they have this amazing idea and they're just like, I want my name in the leaves, I want my name in the petals, I want my aunt's name in the stem, and I'm just like, like no. Oh, like, they let you do the badass project? Oh, oh, I forgot something. Yep. Put it in the initial way here. Oh, no. We can do more creative things than just a name. Like, there's so many ways to represent that person without just being like, derp, it's Josh. You know? Like, Picture can say, you know, a thousand words. Yes, a thousand words. Why have one? Even if you get, like, your mom, dad, son, whatever, anything like that, like, there's nothing unique about someone's name. Everyone's got a name. You know, to me, it's the same as, like, birth date, death date stuff. And it's like, why wouldn't you want to get something that, like, personifies that person as an image, as art, you know, as, like, an art form? and give you something that you can look at that only you will really understand the meaning of that imagery. You know, I think it's like really like shallow and kind of like closed-minded to think that like, oh, that's a person, I'm just gonna get their name. And it's like, there's so much more to that person, you know, that memorial, that whatever, than just the fact that they had a name. I tell people to get something that every time you look at it, you think of that person. And, and you, it makes you smile. Like I had a, a client who, her son every morning, she had three kids and every morning, she would wake up at 5 a.m. and uh, her son worked at Dunkin' Donuts. And, <laughs> like they do, Ping. and she would wake up and make him two eggs and two pieces of bacon. Every morning, I'm like, why don't you get two eggs and two pieces of bacon? I can make the bacon into a heart. You know, that sort of thing, every time you look at it, nobody else needs to know what it is, and nobody's gonna try and read it and know about your life. Bacon usually makes its way into a heart. There's so many different things you can do. You know, you can, there's so much stuff that's available. I, I'm not even saying against like lettering. Like I, I, that's obviously not what I do, but if you want lettering, like there's some super dope lettering guys, but but get like a phrase or something that, that, that really means something. If you have a connection with that person enough that you want to commemorate them, get something that is meaningful for that person. You know, everybody wants to get like a birthday, death day, and I go, man, I go, it's That's the I go of thing every in the world. single experience you had with your grandfather who passed away, the only fucking day you don't want to remember is the, the day, day that they died. died. Why would you put that day on you? That's the only day you don't want to remember of their entire existence. That's the worst day. Don't do it. You know what I mean? If you went to the ballpark and he fucking smoked cigars, get a baseball and cigar leaned up on it and remember the happy time. You know what I mean? Get something that when you look at it, it makes you smile and think about that person. But the other beautiful side is get something that if Scotty looked at it, wouldn't know that that meant, he's like, what's that tattoo for? I'm like, ah, I like cigars baseball. If I don't want to talk about an experience or a person that I lost, I don't have to. But if I want to open up, it gives you that opportunity. But every time you look at it, you're going to smile. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Get as many names as you can tattooed on you. I'm all about them. I don't really give a f If you like somebody, if you love them, whatever, get their name tattooed. To me, it's not a big deal. I mean, I feel like whatever about names, like you're a f***ing adult. You're an adult. You do what you do, you know what I mean? Like you got to me today somehow magically. So if you were able to come to this shop and get tattooed. I feel like you're well similar then, with like, I'll tattoo pretty much whatever on you because you're a fucking adult. Yeah, because you're an adult. To an extent, here's the deal. You're gonna go get that shit some, somewhere yeah. else by someone else who might f*** it up. So I'm gonna do a good job and then cover it for you later. Yeah. I know a guy who, who gets different women's names tattooed on him constantly because he thinks it's funny. Because it is. <laughs> it it is and funny. it looks cool. He's got like Peggy right here and like a bunch of other names. Old timey names. I once tattooed this guy who had like, he had like 30 something women. <laughs> yeah, right? Have you met him? <laughs> okay, yeah. He has like 30 something women Too tattooed bad. on him. He has like um, Mega Massacre. He has like a bunch of really famous female tattoo artists. And I was like, F it. Like, Too I'm blasting gnarly. you for sure. I wanted to tattoo his dick. I was like, let me put Jaded on your dick. And he was like, no. Calm down. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So I ended up getting like a side nipple instead. If you're a tattooer, uh, who cares? Get yeah, name tattoos. You, you can have cut. You have your friends cover them up. If you're not a tattooer, um, make sure you got enough money to have them bitches covered up. Like, so name tattoos, awesome. bad idea. The, the last. Yeah, the last guys were like, it's actually a good investment because I get paid again stocks. double the pixel. Money. Oh, that is true. That is pretty true. So, so yes, name tattoos. Get them. G, G as in go, all right? <laughs> I dot A N, K as in kilo. <laughs> Close the door, A R as in Rico Suave, L E. Yep. That's Gian Carlin. That's my name. And then my Instagram, it's Gian Carlin at 
No, it's, wait, it's at Gian Carla. Dude, you just confused them so much. I don't know what to put down now. <laughs> you, you really don't want to fuck this up. This is Gorilla. Gorilla is G R I L L A. A. Yeah. yeah, that's it. He speaks Spanish. Well, <laughs> I was never that good at spelling bee anyway, so.